Hello! Um, welcome to the uh, fourth, fourth part of the series of um, why the heck have I thought this is a good idea? Schminke Aqua Ground. Last time we did, if I remember correctly, wood and realized that wood is pretty tricky. But that tricky is uh, generally spoken. So, yeah. We are now going to uh, move over to the path I was always looking forward to because it is the reason I started this whole thing. And one thing I have to say, my brush is getting crustier and crustier. This thing is, oh my god, almost 20 years old. I really want to have it for another five years, so I will start to use brush soap on it. So it will stay nice and clean. But today is the day, you see it probably in the corner, of me trying out this aqua ground on my chest. The thing is, first, this set is the only set I have with multiple miniatures of the same thing. I only buy single ones. So those are not resin miniatures, those are plastic models. The thing is, I do not own resin kit miniatures in multiple forms. I have some that are kind of the same, but I think it would be boring to uh, compare miniatures that are not 100% the same. I will try to remember to test the, the ground on the back side of a printed base, if I remember correctly. Those should be okay. But if I forget, please remind me in the comments. So. I will get them out as soon as I clean those two because you see there are so old lines oh well you can see oh you can see can you well maybe you can I love those red folks if you have seen the comparison video of cheap paint versus expensive paint you will know these very well. I love them because of the OSL effect you can create on them. One thing I have to say in front, it can happen, as at least with um, the gesso, that the gesso will block the tiny uh, divots. So it won't be as detailed in it anymore. Because of that, I will make a black and white dry brush on top of the plastic to make the first layer as thin as possible. Then we'll put on the clear gesso and the transparent ground. I do not know how many layers I will do with the aqua ground. We will see that. Probably only one because of the uh, tiny details. And because both are transparent, I will put on top the aquarelle colors, the watercolor colors, the watercolors colors, you know what I mean. I think I will switch to the um, Schminke Horodam I have, just because I have the feeling that the vibrancy could be better and you saw that the um, art fall is a bit granulating and I want to have a smooth um, wash on top. So basically what we're doing is uh, glazing, glaze layering like some people call it and try to use the color of, of the shading, the black and white shading underground and underneath to create a miniature. So. One thing I also do not know if it's going to work because some colors could reactivate easily, especially with the um, aqua ground going on. Because we all know already, this thing makes watercolor melt away. Oops, excuse me, I picked my color pencils. And if it is not going to work, I will just 
except by fate and by a different set of colors. Especially my old ones, which are poster paints, which is a different way of... They are not 100% poster paints, but you know what I mean. They are um, opaque ones, opaca ones, and a bit more stable, uh, more... Uh, how do you call that? Tinting, tainting than pigments. Yeah. So, or maybe I will go to the, uh, to the tabby. I know, don't know yet. I know that the gouache will work beautifully, 100%. Definitely, it's not, nothing will go. Oh my god, my color pens, I'm so sorry. Um, um, nothing will go wrong, everything will be fine. And if this is if this is working, I I will scream because so many people are swearing on oil paints as washes because they are they are long wet and they, you can rewet them with um, mineral spirits, but you can put them into water. You have to recycle them, and not everyone has the chance to use. Uh, to go to a recycle place where you can put away those oils and the water from the um, oil paints if you don't have one of the new Schminke Blue. Uh, but I don't. I digress. Um, this is going to be the experiment that started everything. I was thinking just because of miniature painting and the idea of washing with watercolors and yeah, let's see how this is going. First step I will do is uh, degrade the um, miniatures and get rid of as much as possible. My blade is not sharp right now, but we see. So I will not film that. You don't have to see that, don't worry. But you will see at least one coat of clear gesso and aqua ground. I will also mark them down here to uh, make it a mystery which side is which but I will not forget which side is which I mean I can feel it but it doesn't matter so let's see how this is going to end this will probably be the longest video I've ever made besides my streams so I'm 100% sure many people will see this but if you watch this thank you <laughs> so let's start So there we are. Um, I have to. I did one coat of each on every single miniature, and I need to find out if the basic color uh, will stick. So we do that in real time. Um, let's go with the white because it's the easiest to try out and then I will go back to the um, 
speed paint version. It's just a normal wash, glaze, whatever you want to call it, just to test out on the actual flame. And I use too much water, like always. Fantastic. Um, that's, that's what it is. I just pretend that's what I plan to do. One thing I noticed already is that, oh, excuse my dirty hands, um, the both grounds, mediums, whatever you want to call them, reactivated the black color, which is the Stuart sample um, black 2.0. My thoughts were I let it dry enough, but I guess not. So yeah, let's live with that. So the first thing I see right now is this will take absolutely enormously long if I use too much water like I do here, which is sad. Let's do this one next. The water evaporated a bit, so this is, this is interesting. There's always a way, um, there's always an easy way to realize which side is um, which medium but let's pretend we both do not know that and I hate that the miniatures are so tiny the out of focus is out of focus <laughs> I'm impressed let's say that I'm absolutely impressed I'm a bit scared because this will take ages if I'm not careful. Is that a... Um, excuse me, but what is going on? Um, one second. What? Oh my god. What? I'm sorry guys. Do you see that? I have goosebumps. It's working. I mean, why wouldn't it work? That's... That's insane. It's working. It's absolutely working. It's... it's I'm, I'm like, what? I'm sorry. Is this just me or does that feel like a game changer already? I know I should not toot anyone's horn right now because that is basically what's going to bring me to bow, to downfall because I know, look at that, the, the white is dry already, right? Look at that. What? No way! I'm sorry, what? Oh, look at that! Look! Excuse me. Do you see that? That was my line, right? It's not going away! It's literally not... Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. I will now paint those two miniatures and I'm already speechless. I'm absolutely speechless. I do not I do not know how to do that without literally breaking down but well that was a test I will let the flames dry and do the colors 
and then we will see how well the drying part is and how well the not reacting, reacting part is and how good we can blend and stuff like that and then we will see us again.
Yellow paint is not dry yet, but I wanted to um, test something out. Basically, um, on this one, I did not put um, any black on this area, so I want to test out if the ground in general on the classic model could be painted with normal watercolor. The answer is like you see, no, of course not, because it's soft. It's uh, shiny. But what if we just put the normal acrylic paint down and paint over that? Voila! I mean, that's the blue. You won't see that. I mean, so I will get some white for that. Beautiful white. So basically the answer is yes, it is possible. So I'm getting the um, resin thing. I got some bases that are basically basic. Of course, we know that with the medium it will work, but let's just try out the um, normal colors. Surprisingly, the answer is yes. 
because of the lower lines, you could just paint with watercolors. That is interesting. So you would not even need a medium for resin prints, which is basically something that I did not expect to be honest, but let's ignore these. Um, next step is going to be, because you see um, the glossiness of the flame, I will um, seal in the watercolor with my watercolor. Um, um, furnace. Uh, yeah, furnace. 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 Varnish! That's the word I was searching for, varnish. And after that, I will also spray on top with um, matte sealant. But before I do that, and be a bit hectic, I will do the ground in a lame way. I think I will just put on some moss and call it by that. So you see us after everything is done in that regard, so we can talk about the end result. This is the part where I tell you that I still have to paint the room because I forgot. So let's do that first. Um, first things first, we have a little problem. My varnish, like always, is acting up. I bought a new one some a uh, month ago. But not in the tone matte. So I only have a neutral one, which basically is not what we want because our watercolor is shiny and the basic one, neutral one, will, oh my gosh, will make it still shiny which I do not want so I tried my best to get the rest of my can working again sadly it did not work 100% or better to say it did not 
work on every area which kind of means that the black side of the miniature is a bit more shiny I used like four coats but I think the matte pigments the uh, tiny um, pigments are empty are out so yeah ignore the fact that the miniature is a bit shiny on one side because this is not going to affect my rating on this though I have to say one thing I also do not know the answer to right now is how long it took me to paint those um, which would be an interesting thing to talk about first things first my camera is not really getting the right colors uh, obviously because of the black parts of those miniatures but let's start with the front look. I try to use the same colors. Let's make a side look view. And use the base colors. And put a yellow, you could call it dry brush, but more a layered highlight on top of it. The um, the flame was done in a red one, a red, a red blend, yellow orange, a red semi, semi um, wet overbrush and a blackish brown dry brush. I had no issues at all with the tail, which was weird. I know it's not the most beautiful miniature on earth, but it is really fun. It was really fun. One thing I cannot recommend because of the probably gum arabic inside the watercolors is a dry brush. Um, like the, like you see on the uh, swatch, there is a shiny top which will make it sticky. So dry brushing, excuse me. Dry brushing is out of question. Though, if you enjoy, um, give me a second. So I forgot what I wanted to say, but let's put that. So, do I recommend using watercolor? The answer is yes. I recommend using what? Fast, but, but. It probably would be a better idea to use gouache. Because gouache is opaque and watercolor. Though that was not the test. The test for this was if you could use watercolor. The answer is yes. You even could use it on the um, miniature. On a miniature that was printed. Well, without the medium. So yeah, you could use. Is it practical to do that? I think it depends, right? If you have watercolor and you painted your miniatures with acrylics, you need to fast wash. Do it. You will spray the varnish on top anyway. So one thing I have to say: be careful if the varnish is. Um, based on water, it will be more wash. So by, if you do not have already, a simple watercolor varnish. So yeah. The other question is, was it fun? The basic answer is, oh my god, no, it was not fun. Because layering on top of colors with the paint you have to uh, activate in a really weird way so it would even stick on the layer without reactivating the layer underneath or pooling or being weird is hard. Sure you can train it but I think the best way would be just using it as a brush or 
something to uh, to glaze over, like the lighting. Because you have to remember, watercolors are always a different color when they're bright and uh, after they're dry. So yeah, I think just to find out this realization, it was worth it trying it out, but we're not finished. I still have some areas left where the watercolor ground could blow our minds. I'm really excited for glass to be so to be honest. There could be some possibilities like a lot of people love glass stained windows but if there would be a possibility with the ground to make this glass stained windows just like painting on the glass that would be amazing. Yes, I think we could never remove it again. Or oh, maybe it's... Oh. So I will buy some alcohol, turpentine or something like that. Then yeah. I mean in the end it's just kind of just... So... I don't know. And on a positive note, I think the experiment was a success. I found out that watercolors are indeed more versatile than most people think they are. I would suggest trying them out on your miniatures if you have watercolors and don't want to buy oils or don't want to mix some washes or I don't know because it's just do whatever you want. Nobody is saying you have to do stuff the way others do it. And especially with high grade watercolor, their light fastness is intense. And unlike oil paints, you can always just, if it's a mistake, dump them in water. Who cares? It's disappearing. Even if it's just a stain. The stain will almost go away. So yeah, I say full success. I enjoy it. And um, with that, I have to say, I hope this will be the last video in 4K. I forgot to change back the camera settings. So my PC is now dying in pain, literally, because the files are too big. Um, I will stop talking. I wish you a very nice day. I hope you have some fun. And if you watch until this day, up this second, until this minute, Thank you very much, but I do not think anyone will watch this. If you do, I like you. And with that, I say bye bye and until next time. Oh, and just as a little heads up, this fella is the aqua ground. This fella is the gesso. You can distinguish them from the beautiful tail which I ruined on the gesso one. <laughs>